my name is Miss Dora and I'm the Children's Education Director at Trinity United Methodist Church in Milford, Ohio. And I'm pleased that you're able to join us today no matter where you're coming from. Um, today is a special day to many people because it's Mother's Day. It's a great day to not only celebrate the mothers and grandmas in our lives, but also to celebrate anyone that's mothered us in any way. This can, can include people who have shown us care and affection, and also those who have looked out for us with kindness and have and protected us. Um, this could include people like your teachers, a special mentor, a coach, or just a special friend. We should always try to listen to all of our mothers because they know what's best for us and they, and they always look out for us, okay? They guide us on our journeys and they help us figure out our problems. Today we're going to be talking about how God has also given us a guide to help us on our life journey, and that is the Bible, His Word. In fact, in Colossians 3.16 it says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. And today I want to show you what that looks like. So I moved the camera down a little bit so you guys can see um, a demonstration of this. I have two cups and imagine these cups represent your life, all right? And I have some hot water right here and I'm going to pour some in both cups. So pour some in this one. we have a cup of hot water but in this one I have a tea bag all right this tea bag represents the Word of God I'm gonna pour the hot water in this one and see what happens <clears throat> almost immediately um, you can see a change right it starts taking on a different color all of a sudden this cup starts to look different than this cup all right, it even smells different. Yep, it smells different than the, just plain hot water, right? It takes on a whole new appearance. And that's what happens when God's love starts getting in your life. You're start taking on a new um, outward appearance because you start living your life like God wants you to. That's letting his word, like the tea, buck, tea bag, live in you richly, okay? What would you call this? That's just a cup of hot water right there, right? But what would you call this? This is a cup, cup of tea, right? So it has been changed into something different. In fact, as you get this Word of God in your life more and more and more, you'll start looking completely different. People will look at you and say, where's that person we used to know? I see something different. What has changed? You're no longer like the old you. Now you're more like... That's right, Jesus. The word of Christ is dwelling you, dwelling in you and it will change you, okay? You can't maintain a heart for God's word unless you are allowing it to pour in your life and letting it change you, change you on a consistent basis. So if I let this cup sit here for a while, it's just gonna get darker and darker and it's gonna be stronger and, and more robust and it's faith right so isn't that amazing God's work can do this in our lives it can change us so much that the people around us see the change you will be totally different no more like yourself but now more like Christ because his word will be dwelling in you all right now let's bow our heads and say a prayer together you ready dear Heavenly Father Thank you for providing the Bible for us as a guide to how to live our lives. Lord, it just shows how much you love all of us. And if we, you, we let you pour your word into our lives, we can't help but to be changed for the better. Also, please bless all of the people you have placed in our lives that help us on our journeys. May we be able to use this special day to thank them for all that they've done for us. May we also be able to show that same kindness and protection to others. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. And here at Trinity, we like to send you away each week with a special blessing, and I'd love for you to join with me. In all that we think, in all that we say, in all that we do, may we glorify you. God bless everyone. Have a blessed Mother's Day and um, treat all those around you really well. Goodbye.